guys, Thad Shoemaker, Shoemaker Guitar Works. So, a uh, good customer of mine brought me in uh, his father's Moochie pool cue because it got a dent in it right here in the ebony. And I'm going to, I have a wet paper towel here and my soldering iron. And I'm going to try and steam this dent out here. Don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. Got the soldering iron as hot as it'll go. Looks like it's coming out a little bit. I don't know if the soldering iron will work to do what I'm trying to accomplish here. It's cleaning my tip nice at least. But this is totally worth a try just to see if it will work. I might actually have to I have a clothes iron here that I use for steaming dents out of wood in a guitar. And I might have to go ahead and use that. It's come out maybe a little bit, but that's pretty deep. I'm gonna let the iron heat up again some more here for a minute. I've got it set on its hottest setting. I think the actual dent in the wood might physically be out of there now. It's the lacquer or whatever finish they use on this thing. All right, it should be heated up again. Let's try this again. It's definitely coming out. It is not near as deep as what it was. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. Get a little bit of liquid in there. And just kind of. All right, so let's go about this a little bit differently. And I'm gonna put the clothes iron that I've been heating up over it. Let's see if this is hot enough to swell that dent up without damaging it too bad. It's definitely raising it back up. So it's working. I'm gonna go ahead and put you on a time lapse while I do the rest of this and uh, we'll see how much of it we can get out.
right guys, so you can still see the mark. And you can maybe feel it just a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do some light sanding on that and try and smooth that. And if I have to, I'll put a drop of uh, oh, clear CA glue or uh, super glue or whatever in there just to kind of fill that if there is a void. But I right now, I don't feel a void. That middle part you're seeing right there is where it puffed back up. Uh, I'm actually going to let it sit for a couple hours, uh, maybe over overnight, and see if it uh, the swelling makes the wood go back down or what I'm going to have to do. So anyway, uh, that's just another thing that I can you know possibly do for people. I have a harp coming in soon that I'm going to be doing this on. All right, guys, so what I've done here, and I think you can see it's level now. Uh, I filled in a little bit with ebony dust in here, and I put a few drops of uh, just a slight line of uh, clear CA glue on there, and some ebony dust, and then a little bit more CA glue on top, and it's nice and level now. So. Now, when I buff it out, uh, he will never know the difference. It's actually sanded to 1500 right now, and I will buff it out, and I will show you the final results. All right, so end result, I mean, like I told him, you'll always be able to see it, but that physically, you cannot feel it at all. It's shiny, so it kind of just looks like a flaw in the finish on there. And he said his dad's like 70 something years old and uh, can't see the best anymore, but he would have definitely been able to feel that. So now that uh, that is like that, I think he'll be a happy camper. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.